wall. If we allow them to tear gas families and children, there's nothing that we're going to stop them from doing. There's nothing that we're going to stop them from doing. So we did really good a couple weeks ago. It took the blue wave a little way, a little time to hit, but it hit. But we need to do a lot more. We need to keep changing who's in government endorsing this sick policy, and we need to continue taking to the streets. We need to continue doing civil disobedience. As long as this government is doing this, we shouldn't let ICE function. We shouldn't let Social Security function. We shouldn't let, let the federal building function. We need to get back into the streets and occupy the offices here in Los Angeles, in New York, in Des Moines, in, in Juneau, Alaska. We need to be doing it everywhere. Because if we don't, this is going to continue. And there are lives that are going to be ruined. So thank you for doing this. Thank you for making it milk cartons. Because of the message it sends, and the fact that this says that, that this is to middle America, this is a symbol of, of, of sort of hearth and home, the half gallon of milk on the kitchen table. That's what this is about. It is about families, and it's about families being ripped apart, and it's going to take those families at that kitchen table saying, we refuse to allow this to happen. My final thing, they said this is only going to be here for a few days. I reminded them, and where's Bob from Reckon Parks? <laughs> this uh, sculpture back here, a uh, declaration, that was also a temporary installation in 2000. You <laughs> can stay as long as you want. Uh, I'll hold it. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for that, because those are the words that resonate, I think, with everyone here, and they needed to hear what we're doing here today. I appreciate it greatly. Um, I wanted to see if Mona is here from... Ah, come on up, Mona. Mona is doing the work, the legal representation for the immigrant children, and she and her team at Immigrant Defenders, and, and let me just say this. So Mona's colleague was supposed to be here, and then Mona, she couldn't make it, because she, she just got back from the Mexican border the other day, and she called Mona at the last minute, and Mona's like, hell yeah, I'll be there. So, <laughs> so let's hear it please for Mona. Thank you, for Thank you so much. This is really, this is wonderful. Thank you so much for having us. My name is Mona Iman. 